Let's get reaction now. Treasurer General of the FFM, Peter Maudre, joins us in studio uh, to get a reaction. Good to have you and thank you very much for coming in. Thank you, Tavo. Good evening to the viewers at home. The official opposition claiming victory on uh, her resignation, saying they've been putting a lot of pressure, including that motion of no confidence. Of course, uh, she didn't just genuinely resign. I mean, uh, there's a person who initially said she's taking special leave and then ran to the courts to try to defend uh, the inevitable, uh, which is her arrest. And so uh, it comes from a lot of pressure from us as uh, opposition parties uh, in parliament, and uh, we're happy that um, she resigned. She, she wasn't good for that uh, position. Um, I mean, her legacy, she, she's the speaker who presided over the onslaught of black professionals, of uh, Advocate Bustem Kovana, of uh, Judge President uh, John Clope, but also protecting the corruption by her own leaders, uh, the famous Palapala Farm uh, saga. Uh, we saw her, um, I mean, participating uh, in, in that um, process of impeaching the president, the sitting president of the country. Little did she know that it's going to come um, to bite her. Now she's, she's beating the dust. So she must go. Uh, she should have gone a long time ago. Mm. Uh, she wasted our time. She wasted taxpayers' money. She wasted your airtime as uh, broadcasters. And uh, we are now where we are. This story is now uh, an international story, which shouldn't have been the case. But also it's uh, to the ANC. I mean, uh, what they deem the best is actually the worst. Is the, is the corrupt. So you see, the, the, she's leading, she was leading the head, the, the yeah. arm of the state, and she's corrupt. The president who's leading the arm of the state is alleged to be corrupt. Yeah. Uh, we don't know about Zondo because, um, you know, there's a ceiling of CR-17 documents. Maybe yeah. he's also there. So we could find that we are sitting in a corrupt state in its entirety. The, the NC seems to think this partly is because of her commitment to the party and the organization, so it's, it's, it's for party political interest. Uh, do you think she's doing this for party political interest, this resignation, or it's, it's, it's more really prioritizing her own personal interest? We all don't care what the ANC think. What we know is that this is an ANC deployment. The ANC deployee is corrupt. They took... Tabo, when you, when you are placing, when you're doing your deployments, you put your best foot forward. So this is what the ANC deemed to be the best. And he's, she's corrupt. And she must go and answer there in court. So the ANC can't tell us anything. The, 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 the corruption is the ANC is embedded from the top right through. They're going to fall, most of them. Yeah. Right now we're sitting with the deputy president who's also uh, having serious allegations hanging over his head. Uh, the, the report to the ethics committee is due very soon. So now he's going to bite the dust. So this is the ANC for you. All of them are corrupt, Tabo. There's so no what, what, what the made you think, I mean, even initially, that she is not suitable for this high office, that uh, is, is, is supposed traditionally to be an impartial office of the speaker uh, of, of high regard? Tabo, she presided over the beating, the, the, the assault and sexual assault of members of parliament. She, she was never a neutral person. She thought being the speaker, although she's deployed by her party, she thought she's the speaker of her party. When we are in Parliament, we are members of Parliament of the Republic of South Africa. Of course, we take the party uh, mandate and the party line. But she, as the speaker, must, be, must not be biased. She must remain neutral. She must serve the interests of the people of South Africa. The, the allowing of the police to storm Parliament and assault the members of Parliament, including the president of the EFF and the leadership of the EFF, the suspension of the members of Parliament, the, the, the denying them the salaries, I mean, we're sitting with members of parliament who don't have salaries. The, the last batch has been suspended now. They're not going to get their salaries. So that's the legacy that she leaves behind. So she was never sued, suitable for this position. So the they're saying her, her legacy is particularly that of being able to uh, at least deal with the, the EFF in, in, in parliament and, and bring in, others are saying, some order and decorum back into, into the house. But, but there, there is a person who's supposed to bring order and decorum who corrupt herself. And, and we're saying, uh, she's been biased, Tabo. She has never served that. Uh, we had speakers before. Oh, Mom Tandy, she was unbiased. There was a time where uh, uh, the, the sonar had to adjourn uh, for some few minutes for, for her to call on order on all members of parliament. She never brought police inside the, the, the house. It's not allowed. This one brought the police 
which is not allowed. And when she was called to order, she then said, they must be removed. We deserve to be. He, she actually called us animals, yeah. this same woman. So she was never ready for the position, um, but that's because she's corrupt. So you, you'll find that Tabo, when they were in their caucus, she was being told, you know, we know the truth about you. We're going to expose you if you don't do one, two, three. That's why she was doing wrong things all the time. It's because why, why, why would her party deploy it for, for, for this particular job? Uh, do you think there's any particular reason for, for her appointment? So, Tabo, the, the, the party will deploy the best of the best amongst themselves. So they, they deployed her thinking she's the best. But their best is the worst for the, for the Republic of South Africa. It's proven now that she's the best. So the ANC does not have any best people left. All the people in the ANC are corrupt. That's why today we're still sitting with the acting speaker. Uh, who is sick, who doesn't want to go home, because there's no other person who's better than the ANC. So all of them are rotten to the core. They are corrupt. And the people of South Africa must see them for who they are. That's why on the 29th of May, they must remove the ANC from power. They can't give us anything. They don't have any best person that is left. And we see it now proving itself with Mapisa. Mapisa must go and rot in jail yeah. for all the wrong things she has done to the people of South Africa. Beating of women, assaulting women, allowing the security to sexually assault female members of parliament, uh, and, and calling for police to come with their full might to the people of uh, uh, the members of parliament who are merely protesting against an injustice which is happening within uh, the chambers of parliament. We will never keep quiet. We are never going to keep quiet, Tabo. We've got the right. We are elected by the people of South Africa to represent our constituency and where the wrong is being done. We must all stand up and say, but this wrong is done. We were in the same situation with President Zuma. And what happened? We won at the end of the day because President Zuma paid back the money that we were fighting for paying back the money. This one blocked the impeachment process. They would have seen her president being impeached. Now, after that deal that she made, now she's the one who's biting the dust. She must go and rot in jail. So one of the things that she bequeathes this parliament, I suppose, are the new rules of joint seatings, which so the EFF being um, uh, kicked out, really, of the, the, the State of the Nation address. Uh, I think even the budget, or there was something else that was happening with the budget that you guys were not there. So the ANC uses its majority, um, Tabo, to um, stifle the, the, the debate in Parliament. They use their majority to... Actually, she shouldn't have resigned. We wanted to see what's going to happen with the motion of no confidence against her. wanted to see if the ANC was going to support it or not support it the same way they did not support the impeachment of their own president because the ANC is known for prote protecting corruption because all of them are corrupt so it, it, it's a trade uh, situation in the ANC you keep quiet I keep quiet you speak I speak so we, sh we wanted to see what's going to happen with her they should have not accepted the resignation they should have said to her stay and then we, 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 we put a motion of no confidence against her they changed the rules Tabo just so that they can deny the EFF the opportunity to hold the executive accountable. But their time is over. We're not worried about them. That's why we're on the ground. We're doing lot to do, speaking to our people uh, to remove the ANC. And indeed, they're going to be removed uh, from power on the 29th of May. S speaking of, of, of time being up, I mean, one would say it's days really until uh, Parliament stands and, and, and goes on, on, on recess. Um, she has already indicated that she is not returning to public politics. So essentially this resignation is, is just a way of, of her going out and, and securing her pension. Parliamentary pension no, absolutely. So we, we, we are on constituency, Tabo. I just checked the uh, program of Parliament uh, before I came in here. We started the constituency period from the 2nd of April. It's ending on the 21st of May. So effectively, the Parliament has, has risen. And uh, we'll go back with, uh, for the 7th administration now um, of Parliament, and where she indicated she was not coming back anyway. But corruption is corruption. We're going to find her anyway. She's lucky because there's no lifetime uh, benefits, you know, um, the loss of office, it's the, the, the pension and all that. But we're going for, for her. But we're saying we're, go, we're happy that the NPA is pursuing her and uh, she must find her day in court. Very soon. She must hand herself over. Like you say, the rumors are that um, she's going to hand herself over to the police tomorrow as Centurion. Yeah. She must go there and face the might of the law. She protected the criminal. So now she's the one who's a criminal, and there's no one who's going to protect her. She's working alone right now, and she should really um, dip her head in shame that she protected corruption, 
in a bid to cover her own corruption. Mm. So now she's corrupt, and she's alleged to be corrupt, and she must go face the music. Powers and Privileges uh, uh, Committee and what the DA is, is trying to pursue there, do you think it's, it's a mute uh, point? With the resignation, she's out. And with Parliament having risen, that's the end. Um, it's not going to help. She doesn't have benefits. We are going to accept and agree to a process that will see um, her benefits being um, her um, not getting her benefits. But without benefits, really, uh, I think we can leave it to law enforcement officers to really deal with her. But she must know, even when she um, uh, will be wearing uh, orange overalls very soon, that she is a speaker who presided over the onslaught of African uh, brothers and sisters. And she protected corruption, which she thought was going to protect her in, re in return. There's no honor among thieves. Now, she must go and uh, face the music as a thief herself, alone, on her own. So, I mean, the NC is saying, she said, Senator, will continue to act as speaker. Essentially, you are saying on this particular occasion, there's really not much that she said, Senator, will be acting on. No, but also, uh, the ANC must go and read the Constitution. Section 52 of the Constitution says that in its first sitting of Parliament, the Parliament must elect the Speaker. So, ANC cannot elect the Speaker. This is not an ANC Parliament. This is the People's Parliament. The members of Parliament elect the Speaker. So, if we were going to go back to Parliament now, the first sitting of Parliament, it, so the Constitution says in its first sitting, or whenever the vacancy arises. So now, we had the first Speaker, at the beginning of the term of the sixth administration, but now a, a vacancy has risen, and, and therefore, in the next sitting of parliament, we should um, uh, elect the speaker, not the ANC electing the speaker. Of course, they got the majority, but they mustn't arrogantly say they're electing the speaker. They don't have the powers. The power lies within the members of parliament. But we're talking about water under the bridge, because as I say, in the seventh administration, we're going to elect the new speaker, which will definitely not be from the ANC. Because the ANC is not going to get the majority. So the ANC will not, will be in the opposition benches and they must make peace with that. That they will not, that's the only, the acting, is just acting for what? Yeah. As we speak, uh, Tabo, there's a lot of processes in Parliament that are stalling. We have not received the letters of the allocations, political party funding allocations, because uh, there's no person to sign uh, the documents. The, I was speaking to the secretary yesterday and he says to me, he's done from his part, he's just waiting for the executive. So maybe the last thing that we can do with honor is to sign those letters so that we can get money to go and defeat and fight for the, the fight against the ANC and defeat them in the 29th of May elections. We want that money because we want to go to the ground and campaign to remove the ANC from power and there's nothing they can do. Fortunately, there won't be a president of the ANC come the seventh administration. Fortunately, there won't be the speaker of the ANC or coming from the benches of the ANC come the seventh administration of parliament. Uh, they will all go. The, the people of South Africa are not foolish. They are not stupid. They see the ANC for who they are. They are corrupt to the core. And they want to give us heads of arms of the state who are corrupt. We can't. We can't have all three arms of the state having heads that are corrupt. Enough is enough. 30 years into democracy. This is not what our forefathers fought for. And we must reject it with the contempt it deserves. And the people we, must we, vote for the EFF on the 29th of May. We'll hold you to that. So we'll hold you to those words and we'll bring you here post uh, uh, May 29th. Uh, I want you to repeat them exactly as you've said them uh, tonight. Uh,